and welcome to another episode of Cardboard for Mars. Um, we're in a three-player draft online. Let's see what we got today. Uh, Tractor and Credit Corps. I do like both of these ones. Um, Credit Corps, I think, is just the best in a vacuum. I've discussed that before on the show. Um, So I'm not seeing any earth tags here. I don't see any reason to to consider uh, credit or tractor over credit core. Um, I mean credit core is just better. So I'll take credit core. And in terms of cards here, definitely taking medical lab, Mars University. Uh, I think I will take quantum extractor because I've already got two science tags here. Um, and if I'm going to take Quantum Abstractor, I'm going to take Ironworks because those things are good together. Um, so I've already got a little bit of a plan. I probably don't need power if my plan is to go through Quantum Extractor. Um, although having a little extra power is always, always good. I'd certainly take Titanium Mine. Um, that's a tough one. Probably... Uh, I probably will, well, this still costs a, like altogether 11 for a bump to power. I think I can probably do better. So what am I doing on turn one? I'm just going to play Titanium Mine. I don't like energy savings that much. Permafrost Extraction. I think I'm just taking these. Um, and looks like we're going to be playing Ecoline Saturn Systems. Okay, so... Question is, what do I want to play this turn? I definitely want to play Titanium Mine. I don't really want to play Mars University because I don't have a card that I want to cycle right now. Maybe I should have kept one out of my opening 10 just to cycle it. Space Haven. The old Ecoline space strategy. Could be good. I'm glad that Saturn Systems doesn't have it. I think I'm inclined to play Titanium Mine and pass. Um, I'm definitely not playing any of these other cards. I'm not going to. I'm not going to Standard Project anything. I think I'll just pass. I, it's not an amazing start. Um, I guess the other option would be to standard project a city um, just because I get the credits back it's cheaper for me but there's I don't see a real reason to do that yeah I probably should have kept a um, I should have kept another card for Mars University because given how much cash I start with I would have I would have done that cycle the card I think that was a little bit of a mistake The other thing is I really want to get building tags down quickly because it's it would be nice to fire that medical lab off early and maybe get like a bump of three or something if I can get up to six tags. I should have a good approach to builder here with Ecoline and Saturn Systems, but it will it will of course depend on what Saturn Systems does. So Ecoline only kept two cards, Saturn Systems four. I guess they kept three and played Phobos. I do like Quantum Extractor in this hand. I, I like the fact that I've got... I have a really good science hand here because I have a science payoff and two good science cards and uh, having a science payoff at four is good because it kind of vaults you to, to five and above um, <clears throat> in the sense that you don't have to play like a crappy one to get to, you know, like to play to, to if you're trying to get to anti-grav, if that card comes around, um, you're paying a, you're playing a payoff at four, potentially at five, and then you just naturally kind of hit seven. 
rather than trying to you know play crappy science tags to get up to seven. Yeah, it looks like we're having a problem with. Let's see, who is the green guy? Uh oh. <laughs> well, this could be this could be a quick game. Dang, that's frustrating. Did keep cards. Four cards, so maybe just disconnected. Well, shoot, that's a little anticlimactic. Um, I think the AI was off in this game. That's an unfortunate time to have a phase out. I guess I could just go start another game. I have not done the, uh, the full double queue. The problem is you can't switch between games fast enough to really make it viable like if you could just window two games at the same time then you could you could actually pretty easily double queue god the thing is i don't want to i don't want to play this eco line player from the start with an ai like that's just not fun. So like either way we, we just get we just get we just lose this one. I don't wanna just quit it. It hits my karma and everything. Like this is miserable. I'll give it like another minute. I guess I'll just start another game. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> that looks like an AI. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and play this titanium mine. If, if Saturn Systems has Asteroid Mining Consortium. That would be very frustrating since it seems like that card gets played against me every single time I play. The question is, would you go after Ecoline or me? And if I were playing him, I would take the Credit Core players. Titanium. Because it just a space strategy out of Ecoline just doesn't seem all that uh, you know, all that good. Well, I hope I can phase it. I hope I can fade it this turn. I mean, the good thing is that Ecoline will no will now no longer pass Asteroid Mining Consortium, which like in in previous games there'd be that luck element of which way the draft was going, because if you don't have Titanium, you could pass that along and let the other players hit each other.
I don't think he's got enough cash for it right now. I think it costs 13. Hey, Wolf. How you doing? I'm doing really well. I had a great weekend. One of my buddies uh, from came from out of town and um, we went out and did some hiking and some road biking and stuff, so it was pretty fun. Earth Office. Okay, interesting. Earth Office Nuclear Zone. Interesting. I guess that's good. Is that good? I'm not sure. I'll just go ahead and pass. I mean, I could just standard project and take the bump. It's basically like worth two. I'm just gonna pass. I don't really care that much about that heat bump. I, I just rather have more cash right now. Oh, nice. It's your Friday. Um, yeah, I have a four day weekend, so I've, I've got tomorrow and Monday off as well. It's always nice when that lines up. Okay, let's see what we got. We have a really flexible hand. Um, and I'm, I'm really hoping we get good science cards because just the way it's shaping up, we could have a really strong science strategy going from the start. Um, okay, Ice Asteroid, I do like that. And we're passing down, so I'm passing to Ecoline. Now the question is, Power Plant is also good for me with the building tags, but it's just gotta be Ice Asteroid. Like there's still these placement bonuses here and I can play it, I can afford to play it now. Um, let's see here, so if I took, I guess I'll just take Imported Hydrogen if Media Group comes around, I could actually just play it with these two. So I'll, t I'll, I'll take Media Group. Or I'm, I'll take uh, that other event card I meant. So we're gonna get one more new card to look at. I mean, Giant Ice Asteroid, oh, Robotic Workforce, perfect. That'll be perfect on Titanium Mine. It's another tag, and it is another trigger. And I have to remember, I'm going to take the last card no matter what, just so that I can cycle it with, uh, I'm glad I looked at that. I would have forgotten. Just so I can cycle it. Okay, so... Yeah, I'll cycle that. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep all four of these cards. I guess I could skip imported hydrogen. Like it's okay. I don't I don't really need it though. I'm gonna skip that. I'm gonna take the ice asteroid and these two. I guess the only thing though is I'm gonna have two titanium from the ice asteroid, which means that this would just cost me ten. And in terms of placement bonuses, I'm going to get Titanium, Steel, and I could pick up a card, which could also be good with Cycling, because I have several Science Tags. If I pay 12, I'll have 43. All right, I'll take it. Do I want it? No, I don't want it. I'll come back to that later. That might have been a mistake just because I'm going to have some titanium, but it's so early in the game. I think I'll be able to I think I'll be able to uh, find a find a spot for it. So I feel bad for the eco line player. He's going to kind of get kind of get hit here. But uh, this card is just too good for us, man. It's so good right now. We get four back on it, too. <laughs> That's just gross. All right, so we're gonna take uh, titanium and steel. 
And we got the heat bump too. Man, that was amazing for us. All right, we'll hit eco line. And then we'll skip. So we still have enough money. Do we have enough money to play Mars University and Robotic Workforce? Yes, we do. So that's great. So we can we can bump our titanium up again. So we'll play University and Cycle Windmills, and then we'll play Robotic Workforce and, and bump our Titanium. And this will be a second building tag, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's too bad we couldn't have gotten that energy card, the just whatever. I don't think it was called Windmills, but no, it was the other one. Just That would have been good. Cheap building tag. Okay. So Ecoline is going to be going for Mayor, which leaves us to go for Builder and potentially Terraformer, just depending on how our sh hand shapes up. Okay, so let's go ahead and get Mars University down. And we'll cycle windmills. We got birds, that's nice. And then we'll go ahead. Man, maybe I should. No, I gotta play this. Will I cycle birds? I think I will. Like I'm, I'm just, it's so early in the game. I'll, I'll get other opportunities. I mean, that card is good, but I don't want it to just rot in my hand all game. Maybe I should have picked up that other one. Um, Tundra farming. The card's okay. I would have rather had birds, but. All right, so we're we're at twenty four. We have two building tags now. If I get one more building tag, I will probably just fire off that medical lab, um, just to start bumping that at part of my economy. I think we're at two, we have two science tags now. And we need to get to four. So, and when we have medical labs, so one more science tag would be great. Okay, Vesta I like. We're passing up now to, we're passing, I'm passing to, Passing to Saturn system, so I have to take Vesta here. That's an easy pick. It's also just good for us. Okay, or processor. Or protected valley. I mean, protected valley could be good. Um. I don't love passing ore pro. Well, I guess I'll pass it. I'll just take Protected Valley. That card's decent. Like if I play a city over here, I could Protected Valley. Ooh, Escarpment. I don't have any steel production. I'm just gonna take this sabotage. I don't want somebody to hit that hit me with that. That media group guy would probably be likely to play it. The guy who has media group. That was not an amazing draft. I don't think we picked up a a cheap building tag, which is what I was hoping. We did get Vesta, that card's good. And we can use space on uh, we can use titanium on it. Um Ecological zone. I don't think I have a way to pay for protected valley. I 
So I'm gonna play Vesta and then just pass my generation. I could play a protected valley. No, I won't have enough money if I both if I buy both of these I'll have 22 cash. All right. I guess I'm just going to I'm just going to end up passing this turn. It's not amazing. Um I'll go ahead and get Vesta down. Yeah, I'm not doing this for one. It does let me cycle a card, but I'll just play Vesta here. Not an amazing round <laughs> for me. Yeah, I mean, given what I was doing, that might have been a good turn for me to just pick up an extra card that I wanted to cycle. Um, hmm. Yeah, that card would have been nice for me. That's too bad. I would have really liked a restricted area because it would have been my science tag and a way for me to turn through some cards. And restricted area is really good with um, Mars University because you always end up with cards you don't want. And so you, you get to pay two for them and then you usually just have some, some stragglers sitting around that you can cycle. The problem with what Ecoline has done here <clears throat> is that they've bought two cities. This this one's not bad. The research outpost is okay, but this one's so expensive and just doesn't really fit into the strategy that Ecoline is doing. And you're so cash depleted at the start with Ecoline that it's hard to get an engine going if you've dumped a bunch of your starting cash into Phobos Space Haven. Now, if it turns out that you get some good space cards, fine, but like. Um, it, it, there's usually, I mean, they're just so cast strapped, and then they played restricted area, um, which also it's it's a good card, but it doesn't really do anything to affect your production. So that's a tough one. Good card for Saturn Systems. So that's the first multiplier. I haven't seen any of the other ones. I think I'm just passing this turn, unfortunately. I wish I had more to do, but I don't. Well, this could be tough. IO is so good early for Saturn Systems. They have a nice little engine going. I'm not like getting destroyed, but um, definitely a little bit behind on production right now. Let's see here. Well, there's anti-grav. So I'm, this is gonna be three and four. I mean, I think I've just gotta go for anti-grav here. It's just too good. Um, and I already have a bunch of good science tags to play. So I think I can get that going, particularly if I get one more. 
It'll start this chain up to Quantum Extractor. A cheap building tag would be really great because I would fire off Medical Lab in this instance. Well, I'm passing down. I'm passing to Eco Line. Definitely taking greenhouses, but I don't want to. I mean, that is a cheap building tag, but I don't want to play it right now. I'll just take bushes. Everyone loves some bushes. Okay, not just farming. Okay, that's actually not bad. So if I take if I take farming, anti-grav, I have 43 cash. And I really want to get down Noctis and play a medical lab this turn. And then I'll need some stuff to cycle. So I'll take bushes and I'll take greenhouses. It's a lot to take. And I'll probably just cycle greenhouses because I'm or bushes because I'm so far away. If I take 12, then I'm gonna have 31 cash. Um, which would give me enough to play Noctis and Medical Lab. But I'm gonna need to stall a turn too if nobody bumps the heat, which it's not clear that they will. I'm gonna get all of those. I did pass that Comet, so if that ended up in if Saturn Systems has that, he'll probably play it to get this heat bump. Algae. That's a good card. Very good for Eco Line. So if I were Eco Line, I think I would have played. Oh, he must have drawn Algae, but then it would have been better for him to wait, because now he's at seven. If this guy plays Comet, he's going <laughs> to knock him back again. He's got 10 cards. He might be going for Planner. <laughs> it is a new chair. Look, look, how, look how slick it is. Okay, play the Investment Loan. I hope he plays Comet. I really wanted to beat bump that heat. Yeah, space station. Well, I guess I could just bump the heat. It cost me 14. I do not want to do that. Man, I really don't want to play any of these cards right now, but I don't I don't want to just pass. I mean, I guess it's not the end of the world passing right now. I don't want to. I don't. I don't just want to fire off greenhouses right now. That card's too good. I, mean, I could just play Protected Valley. I'm going before Eco Line next turn. Saturn Systems could just buy a city. Let's see. So if I play Protected Valley, that costs 23. I get four back. So it costs 19. So I'd have 12. And if I get two cash back, I could play Medical Lab and Cycle Bushes. And this gives me a bump of three to my economy and another building tag, which get, lets me do two. I think it's worth it. I think that's probably worth it. I'm gonna play it up here because I need the cash back in order to afford this. And I also don't wanna make this too desirable a location. So I'll go ahead and play Medical Lab now. And I'm going to 
cycle bushes. Bushes is a pretty good card. But I, I guess I could also cycle Noctis farming now. But I'd rather have the building tag on Noctis. I'm going to get rid of bushes. That's not an obvious pick. Bushes is good. Let's see what we got for our card. Mohole. Okay, that card's good. <clears throat> so maybe I could play Mohole next turn. I'm at four tags now. And I think I have three science tags. I really would love to get to anti-grab quickly. I need one more science tag to turn on extractor iron works. So we'll see what we get next turn. We do have, um, the nice thing about just sort of floating this titanium is that at some point you'll get past a good, a good space card. I'm not worried about stockpiling that titanium for the moment. I don't love just throwing out unprotected plants. Uh, I'd much rather get a city down, but the thing is that protected valley play was, it, it allowed us to do a lot because I got a bump of two here and then I got another bump of two with medical lab. So it was like a bump of four. I think it was worth doing. I could have delayed one more turn and just saved, floated a whole bunch of cash over to the next generation, but I think that's worth it. It actually ends up being a bump of five. So there's the comet. I'm surprised that he didn't play that on on the first turn or the first uh, move through because he could have prevented Ecoline from getting that plant and he would have got I mean he like there's a really good chance I would have taken that had I had the opportunity so not sure that was the best sequencing but The way this is shaping up, I feel like as, as long as I get at least one milestone, I'll be competitive. Um, I mean, Saturn systems it can be very dangerous. Industrial microbes. That card's good. He's got a nice little economy going. I'm I'm actually keeping up with him though. He's we're both at twenty five. He's four one three, and I'm four zero three. So he's only getting two cash more than me at this moment. I think that's good. <clears throat> Hey, uh, Filter, uh, thanks. I'm glad you were able to catch us. Um, we don't stream on a regular schedule. I know that's like, uh, if you want people to be able to come and check you out, you gotta be on a regular schedule, but it's just hard for us uh, since we all have jobs. Um, but I'm glad you can make this one. Okay. So I feel like I've said this every round, but it's a critical round for us in terms of cards. We just we need one more science tag to get 
our uh, Steelworks combo going. And I think it's still we're going on to Gen 5, so I'd have it active on Gen 6, uh, which would be worth three or f uh, four points. So that'd still be good. Um, and it gets us closer to anti-grav, so... Okay, well, asteroid mining's good. We do a, we have six titanium production. Now, industrial center is also a cheap building tag. But so far, I don't think anybody's competing with us, really. Four to one. So I'm going to take asteroid mining. We're passing... Um, I mean, I, there's just no way I can pass that to uh, Saturn systems. Okay, viral enhancers. That's perfect. And we've got a bunch of cards to take advantage of that. So that's our, that's nice. That's a nice pickup for us. Um, Viral Enhancer is a card that has been growing on me. Um, it tends to be pretty good in the late game. Wow, another tough one because we do we do want a cheap building tag. But Colony Ship is also just really good for us. I think we have enough building tags. I don't love passing that, but I'm going to take Colony Ship here. Question is, do I even play Asteroid Mining? Like, I may not want it at this point. What do I have here? Although it's almost free with six here. I can't keep all of these cards, though. Alright, I'm going to take that one. Yeah, Flutter. Uh, let me see here. Or filter. Let's see here. This is what I've played so far. Um, pretty standard types of cards. Um, so I definitely want Viral Enhancers because it turns on my other combo here. It turns on Ironworks Quantum Extractor. I'm not really planning on playing any of these cards except for potentially Mohol. So I don't need a ton of cash this turn. I don't need to play Ironworks until the next turn. So I need 13 and 9. 13 and 9 is 22. So I can pick up two cards. I guess I'll just take asteroid mining. This is 24. I might just have enough to, to buy asteroid mining. And I guess what am I going to filter? Maybe tundra farming? Maybe mohole, although I like mohole. This is a tough pick. Colony ship is really good, but I really want to get I really want to get this thing I want to get my combo going. I mean, the problem is Colony Ship is amazing with asteroid mining. Maybe I just ditch asteroid mining and just play Interstellar Colony Ship. I mean, I already have three production. And this also gives... I think I'm just going to take Colony Ship. I mean, that's a little bit of a weird play, but I don't need that much more titanium production. And this thing also bumps Saturn's system. So it's it's like, I don't know. That's a tough one. That might have been a bad pick. But what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to start with Viral Enhancers in Extractor. That gives me two filters. Ooh, Electro Catapult. That one's sweet. So I'm going to play Enhancers here. And I'm going to filter. I'm going to keep this Noxus, Noxus farming. I guess I'm just going to filter. Tundra farming. I want to keep, keep all these building tags for the moment.
AI Central. Ooh. That's a sweet card. All right, so if I play Extractor, I'll have two cash. What will I filter? Here's the question, is, is, is am, I, am I really going to get Mohole down this game? Hmm. Mohole costs me 16 because I get the discount. And it gives me two cash back, so it costs me 14. It's pretty good. Olympus Conference. And sponsors. Noctis is a good little card. I mean, all right, I'm going to play this Quantum Extractor. God, do I cycle Mohole or just cancel? I guess Mohole's okay. I just don't think I'm gonna get this down though because I'm gonna play AI now. I'm just gonna get rid of Mohole. That card's good, but <clears throat> I, just, I just don't think I'm gonna have time to make it really good. Special design, okay. Special design. That doesn't really do anything for me right now. Had tough tough picks in this game actually. I'm kind of running into the same problem that I, I identified with Eco Line, which is that I've put a bunch of money into Titanium, but this game has been moving more towards science and building tags, and so I, I spent all this money getting my Titanium production going, but it's not really it's not really helping me with my economy right now. Cartel, that's gonna be good for him. He's got like three or four of those. Wow, six. Man, that's good. Okay, well, I'm just passing here. Well, now this guy's just wrecking me in terms of engine. Gen six. Hmm. Okay, I do like Ice Asteroid. Fusion Power is, is another science tag. So I'm at I think I have four and at five. I've got five. So this is gonna be six. Ice Asteroid's good though because I have all this spare titanium right now. I'm gonna take the Ice Asteroid. It's gonna give me a bunch of money and it bumps my economy by two. Another option would be Soletta. That may be better than Ice Asteroid. because this gives me just a heat bump every turn. I like Radchem too, but I don't have any spare energy. I 
How are we doing on Builder here? Four, and Saturn system is up to three. I'm gonna be at five, and I have potentially six, seven if I needed it. Does he have any energy production now? And I'm passing even down, I'm passing to Ecoline. Man, these are tough picks. Saleta also hooks me up for Thermalist. I think it's going to be Saleta here, which is a little odd. Ooh, Commercial District. I do like that one. Because Ecoline is going to definitely want to play another city, get Mayor. I might have a chance to get that in there. I just don't have any spare power right now. So I think I'm going to do Soleta instead of Ice Asteroid. I mean, I could take both. I don't really need both, however. Man, I need another energy production. four plants. I'm going to take Saleta and I'm going to take Commercial District. I'll play Ironworks and then just kind of pass. Hope to draw an energy. Man, weird round so far. Not not amazing. All right, so let's see here. So let's do let's get Saleta down. So that puts me in contention for Thermalist. So I'll play Ironworks next and bump. And then what? Will I play? Release of inert gases, okay. The question is, will I play Noctis Farming? Maybe. I'm gonna probably not actually, just save my money for the next round. Just let this steel build up. Yeah, I wish I had one more power because then I could play um, AI. The way this is shaping up, Ecoline is likely going to be able to get Gardner and Mayor. I think I would be a good candidate for Terraformer if that weren't the case, but they already have two cities. Hmm. It's 
Probably got the one that bumps him twice. Oh, Corporate Stronghold. Okay. Oh, just went over and took the plant. That's probably smart. It just prevents me from using the... Uh... This this is actually not bad for me, though, because it also frees me up to play a tile wherever I want. Like, had he not played that there, I would have had to have played additional greeneries over here, whereas now I can kind of... I'm free to do whatever I want. So I think I'm just passing now. Man, this had this hand had a lot of potential, but I just didn't quite get there. If I had drawn AI like two generations earlier, I think this hand really would have taken off. But as it as it stands, yeah, AI on turn seven is not amazing. Yeah, that's true, Munson. Maybe I should have just not taken that one. Well, what would be great for me would be like a like some sort of power tag or a building tag energy producer which would turn on AI and commercial district but mostly AI toll station four that's a good one Security Fleet, not a card that I love. Yeah, exactly. I did pass that fusion power. Hmm. I'll just pass here. Yeah, maybe I should have taken fusion power. I don't know. I think I think security fleet is just not not great. Period. Arrow breaking. I wonder if he's been stockpiling some of those other satellites. Well, he's certainly got a lot of production. Um, I have not been able to keep up in that regard. Thing is, I do have two bumps to the terraforming every turn from here on out. Well, there's Space Mirror. That's pretty good. So that will turn on. It's not a building tag, but I do have nine titanium, so it's cheap. Um, it's I, yeah, it's too bad that standard technology or standard project might be decent, but I'm gonna take the Space Mirror. That lets me turn on AI at least. That's a pretty good draw. So that'll be nine cheaper for me. So 17, eight, 11. So I'll have plenty for uh, AI Central. And there's the mass converter. Okay, that's cool too. So I can actually play, I think I can afford to play mass converter first. And that gets me to seven. I think I'm. With, with Mass Converter, AI, that gets me to seven, so I can get Anti-Grav on. All right, that was a good draw. I'm gonna have plenty of power. Actually, wait, do I have, I think I already have, I can just skip. 
Um, I think I could just skip Giant Space Mirror and just go straight to Mass Converter. Um, I have enough tags, right? Yeah. I'll take this imported nitrogen. Yeah, Mass Converter is sweet. That's really cheap and it's a bunch of power and it turns on anti-grav. So that's a, that's a sweet pick. An anti-grav with Mass Converter Hmm. I don't think I'm going to take that. That's just five cash. I'm definitely taking mass converter. So that turns on commercial district too. How many tags do I have? Five. I have three. Okay, I don't think nitrogen does anything for me. I don't really have the right cards for that. I can filter special design and I'm gonna have uh, I'm just gonna take this one yeah you know what I was thinking filter is that uh, I'm gonna have AI central on this turn so I'll have cards that I don't need so he takes the mayor and landlord yeah probably good choices for him I probably well I could have I could have funded scientist and probably should do so. This will be inter interesting. Saturn Systems definitely has the best engine, but um, I'm poised to score a lot of points. Man, anti-grab technologies was an amazing draw. That just like hooks my entire hand up. Big asteroid. Okay. So he's gonna hit eco line. All right, so let's just go ahead and bump the heat once. And pass. I'm gonna kind of play this turn out a little bit, think about it. So I'm gonna go converter into AI, into anti-grav, and I'm gonna get three filters off all of that. It actually probably makes more sense to play AI first. Um, probably makes more sense just to play AI first because then I can draw cards before I filter on converter. And that guy's got a really sick economy going. It's for him. It's just going to come down to whether or not he gets the uh, gets the multipliers. And I think I'm still at five. Yeah. All right. So I'll play. AI followed by converter I'm trying to think what he could have like strip mine or something no he doesn't have it this is six tags 
seven. I might want to get commercial district down this turn. Tech demonstration. He's just searching for multipliers and Jupiter tags. Okay, let's go ahead and play AI. We're going to filter special design. Shuttles. Shuttles is good. Card's good. He'll play that this turn as well. So I gotta make sure I sequence this right. I'm glad I did that AI first because uh, I don't want to give up shuttles. Shuttles can be nice for me. Demonia. Okay. Regolith and magnetic field. This actually could be good at the end of the game. Um Yeah, no, I know. Unfortunately, I don't have a ton of space cards. Um, maybe I should have kept that ice asteroid after all. Okay, here come the Jupiter tags. All right, so next I'll play Converter. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to filter Regolith. I don't think I'm going to need that. I think I'd rather have this. Yeah. Underground city. It's actually not bad either. If I just want to get a spot down. So what do I want to play this turn? I have 18. So the question is, would I rather play commercial district this turn, play anti-grav next turn? I, I lose two, but I gain four, like if I'm planning to play commercial district. I could also play commercial district over here with the intention of playing a city here. Because if I play one here, it makes nobody want, it makes people not want to play a city here. And I get two cash back. I think I'm at six tags now. I like that. And I'll play anti grab next turn. I'm gonna go ahead and play shuttles. Well, I guess I guess I could have also played anti grab shuttles. It would have come out as the same discount. Like if I don't play this this turn, then I lose two cash. But I also lose two cash playing it before I play anti grab.
I guess I don't know what I'm gonna do. I guess I'll just wait on that. Have more flexibility. Because I'm almost assuredly gonna play anti grab next turn. But I'm just gonna get two back. Alright, I'm just gonna do it. It comes out to be the same. Yeah, I can't afford to anti-grab now. I was just talking about, like, I basically spent, I lost four cash by playing these cards out of sequence, but I gained six, four off of this for the bump, and then two off of shuttles. So, in the end, I'm still up. Man, Saturn Systems has a pretty sick engine going right now. No doubt. Also with Electro Catapult and everything, that guy's going to be hard to beat, particularly if he's got some multipliers. All right, so I'm passing even down. I'm passing to Ecoline. So I might be able to force Ecoline to take Callisto. Fuel Factory is another cheap building tag for me. Although, I don't really need it. Passing Nitrophilic Moss. If I take, if I pass Moss to the Eco Lion guy, he probably will take Moss instead of Callisto Penal Mine. And I can't have that. So I think I'm just going to take Moss. I'll let this guy uh, pick up. I'll let Ecoline pick up uh, Callisto. Okay, Ecosystems. Now, Ecosystems could be good for me. I only need an animal. It would be annoying to pass Protected Habs. But this is just three points for very cheap. I'll take that. Open city. I do not want open city, but predators I'll just cut. I mean, I could take predators too, but I don't have... I mean, passing protected halves and then taking predators, not great. And I don't have any of the pay like the main payoffs for it, so I'm gonna skip that. I'm gonna skip this, but I will take advanced ecosystems. Uh, that's just a cheap card with all the discounts I have. That card becomes pretty good, I think. I guess predators was my animal tag, but I think I can just draw them. He's pushing to for terraformer now. He's going to be pretty close, so I need to keep an eye on that. If this guy has a, like, you know, Demos down or something like that, uh, could be bad for me. As it turns out, the Equaline player only has one plant on the board. I'm definitely going to be incentivized in this round to just play it slow because there's a chance that I could figure out a way to get this heat bump and I need to I need to maintain flexibility to make sure I get at least one milestone dumb crater okay okay that's fine all right so I do have an oxygen bump I don't have another one here. Let's start by just drawing a couple cards here. Neptune Probe and Media Archives, and the probe is free. Okay. I guess I could filter Underground City? I don't really care about that card. I mean, I guess... 
this. What am I going to play for building tag? Noctis. How many events are there right now? I think there's quite a few. He's got six, seven, nine. Hmm. Yeah, that is not a shocker. So if I can wait this turn out, I'll get the heat bump next turn. If I can just wait everybody out, so I'm just gonna play this slow. Hmm. God, that guy's got a good engine going. Yeah, filter. I don't like magnetic field generators, but at the end of the game, it's pretty good. I mean, I get, I'm going to have all this extra energy once I'm done using um, my steel plant or whatever. And so then you could just take it's. It cost me 16 cash for three points. It's actually not bad. I think I'm more likely to want to filter underground city. Um, although it would be good for me to play a city down somewhere over here. He played fuel factory, so he passed. Oh my gosh, why did he do that? Why would you do that? He passed uh, the other card to Saturn Systems. Man, that's just... I mean, that's the card that's going to be played right now. That's a that's a terrible mistake. I don't, I don't know what, what he's thinking. Like, he's going to go for Builder or something? Like, he's lost that. Like, he doesn't need Titanium production. That's really dumb. Well, I guess I'll just filter media archives. That could be a mistake. That card's pretty cheap. It already gets me three cash, and it might it might get me more. I mean, it, it almost assuredly will get me more. All right, Miranda Resort. I'm happy to bury that. I don't have any Earth tags. Except for this guy. So I'll play, I'll go ahead and play this probe here and just cycle Miranda Resort. There's one, two, three, four cities on the board. Puts me at five plants. Six, seven. I have viral enhancers too, though. I got to remember that. So, 
If I play Noctis Farming, I can actually play a plant. I can't believe that card was past him. That's just ridiculous. I don't know why that guy, this guy, I don't know why he picked up fuel generators over that. Like, All right, well, let's go ahead and play Trans Neptune Probe and cycle Miranda Resort. It is a cheap point. I guess that's the other thing. Maybe I just get rid of generators then. I'm just gonna cycle that. It's a cheap point. I, I don't know, but I just don't want to play it. I could hold that to the end of the game, but part of the value is just having stuff. Alloys. I think I'm likely to cycle alloys too. I don't really need that. Man, I wonder if there's a way I could get both. Depends on what cards I draw, but... All right, so let's see here. So let's go ahead and play... I mean, it might be worth it for me to get Underground City down. Is this guy generating plants? Yeah, he is. So if I play a city here, it really he has to give me points. Also, it gives me my last building tag. And it gives me a plant if I play greenhouses. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Wow, that is not the card I meant to click. I meant to click Underground City. Does that mess me up? <laughs> I hope not. Um, I did not mean to play it that way. I don't think it's going to matter, but I was not planning on playing that card right away. At least it wasn't greenhouses. Alright, so I'm going to play, I'm going to get this oxygen mump now. And I will play Noctis, or Underground City. And let's see here. I actually kind of do want to play greenhouses and just get this plant down. The the reason is that if I play if I just go ahead and play greenhouses right now, I get a bump, a bump, and the next turn I get a bump and I'm just one card away from getting that bump and that puts me in perfect spot for terraformer and I've already got builder locked up. So I think it makes sense for me to sell alloys. And then just play greenhouses. All right, there's a chance here I end up with two milestones. It depends a little bit on what I draw. If I get a like any kind of space card that would allow me to bump the heat would be amazing because it basically, I wanna get, 
Yeah, that would that would basically let me play my first round and then come back around and fund two milestones. And I don't think that anybody will be in position to beat me on that. If I can get a cheap way to bump the heat. Wow, urbanized area. I don't want to pass trees, but... Man, urbanized area is really good right here. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take urbanized area. Oh, there's fish. It's also worth noting that I have seven titanium. So like space elevator is great. I don't have any ways to abuse fish right now. I'm just going to take space elevator. Card's really cheap for me too. Still no great way to bump the heat, unfortunately. Now plantation's not bad. I could just put it over here if I get urbanized area down. It's also a plant. Yeah, I think a, a artificial lake is good too, actually. I'm going to take that lake. That card's good. I don't know. Plantation's good too. That's a tough pick. So I did not get what I wanted. I think I'm going to have to just spend money to bump the heat, unfortunately. Um, definitely taking space elevator. Going to take urbanized area. I'm going to skip lake. I'm going to skip lake because I the thing is I I'm gonna, I want to be able to fund both these awards. So this is going to take me down to 37 and then I'm going to buy a heat bump 37 down to 23 and then I'm going to have to spend 16 to get two milestones. So I do have a little cushion. I could take Lake, but I'm, I'm just worried I'm going to run out of time. It's pretty good, though. All right. Well, let's see. I don't have a lot of other action going on here either. All right. I'll take the Lake. I'll take the Lake. Okay. I probably should have taken the other. Plantation might have been a little better. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and bump the heat. Oh, man, I'm one off for the double bump. That would have saved me so much money. Oh, well. So I'm going to bump heat here. And I'm going to bump the heat. And I'll place this one. here and then when I play my urbanized area I'll be able to play a plant all right so now on the next pass around I'm gonna have two milestones having two milestones really makes it makes me more competitive in this game I would also like to get second on Landlord. Um, if I can figure out a way to do that. Yeah, that was sweet. I think that worked out great for me. Um,
So I'll play urbanized area here. And the other option would be to play urbanized area here. Yeah, I don't know. Like if I play if I play urbanized area here, he's just unlikely to play any plants. And this is already good for me, so maybe I just play the area over here. Although then I don't get the benefit of that plant. Wonder if he hit my plants this time. <laughs> no, he did not. Okay. All right. Well, let's just go ahead and get Terraformer and Builder. Livestock's pretty good. Yeah, maybe, maybe urbanized area is not amazing. Let's go ahead and draw some cards here. Well, we can go ahead and bump the oxygen here. Let's draw some cards. I wonder if we're playing an AI now. The guys is moving really fast. Yeah, maybe I didn't think this urbanized area thing through all the way. He got the fish. Yeah, fish are good. That was a tough pick. I probably should have picked, I should have just picked fish. I think I took urbanized area, but I think that was a mistake. I should have taken fish. All right, so let's go ahead and get uh, space elevator down. Five, six. Question is, what am I going to use the steel for? I guess I will use two of the steel for space elevator here. Okay.
So maybe I'll play like artificial lake. Just pick up some plants and Hmm. I could play the lake here. I would like to, if I play the lake here, I could play urbanized area here and then put a thing. It's not great. Yeah, maybe, maybe urbanized area is just not great in this game. I mean, the thing about urbanized area here is that it does give me a point. So maybe I just give this guy a point. I go urbanized area and then bam, just play my plant here. That That's actually not bad. That makes this a, that's pretty good. I think this comes, comes around to me, I'll do that. Yeah, I think I think that's what I'll do. And then I'll play the lake next turn if I have a chance. I think his urbanized area here is good next to my next to this complex. That makes it three pointer. He's got sixteen points. Oh wow, okay. Dang, he played that card. He's got a bunch of points on fish. That's a, that's unfortunate. That's gonna be tough for me. Let's go ahead and do urbanized area here. I do have the colony ship to get me back. Don't think he can end the game. Oh no, there's two ocean tiles left too. Man, I really want a, an animal tag so that I can get ecosystems down. I do have a little bit of a lead on for landlord. I mean, scientist, I'm pretty crushing. I think I can just fund that. And the, these guys are sec These guys are tied. What I really want is to fund something that's. I don't think I'm gonna have a choice though. I want to fund something that the eco line player is second in. Hmm, this one's gonna be close. I mean, if the guy has a multiplier, I'm pretty much just dead in the water. I oh, funded minor. Oh, that's annoying. Hmm. That's gonna make that last generation touchy for me because I wanted to spend that money 
to play a colony ship. Yeah, I know, Filter. I probably should have kept that Predators. It's looking, it's looking bad now. I should have kept it, probably. I really made a mistake passing fish. I, I, I mean, this ended up being okay, but passing fish was a mistake because I, I had buried birds. Um, man, that's gross. Now he's gonna win minor. I'm sure he hit me. Yeah, he hit. No, he hit eco line. No, he hit me. Oh man, see, this is why having an AI just completely warps the game. Like th this guy, a real player would never have funded Miner there. It's just like so annoying. If this guy ends up winning because of that, it's gonna be super obnoxious. I guess we'll be tied, except for placement bonuses. But he's set up to pick up a few. I guess I'm. I have this guy. That's oh, annoying. Unfortunately, I'm going last here, which means I'm not going to be able to benefit from these heat bumps. I have two this turn, finally. The fact that I had to spend 14 to get that... I mean, it was good, because I got, I got two milestones. Oh, hey, okay, good point filter. That's a really good idea. Um, I think it's just Convoy. Convoy's pretty good, actually. Pretty cheap. I don't care about research or acquired company. I guess I'm just taking research. I don't think I want to buy that card, but... Man, I really need an animal tag. Oh man, small animals, anything. The thing about my misplay with fish, that, and that could cost me the game too, because this guy picked up four points on it with Convoy, is that uh, I, I had seen Predators and passed it. I had passed birds earlier in the game, and so all the one-to-one -one point scoring animals were off the table if I had just taken it. And so the fact that he had, I mean, I couldn't have predicted per se that he had Convoy, but I could have protected against it. Well, shuttles, is that interesting? Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a two pointer. It's not great. I still have. Uh, this thing's almost as good as Ecosystems. Ugh, it's annoying. Okay. So let's see here. If I play, that's true, it does. I'm, I'm gonna play Colony Ship, I'm gonna play Field Generators. So that gives me, most likely, that's gonna be 28, um, 34, Four, and then I probably play Artificial Lake for 44, 47. And then Eos. I'm probably not going to play Eos. I don't have a great way to take advantage. It is four plants. But I, I don't even have an amazing place to put plants. Convoy gives me, I guess Convoy Eos gives me another plant, which I could put here. That's true, I do get some discounts from that. Immigration Shuttles is a two pointer, but I have other plays that are cheaper. Although this, this ultimately costs me 19. It was, it was buried earlier. I think I play, I 
think I pick up research. And convoy. I'm going to skip shuttles. I'm going to take those two. <clears throat> if I get the opportunity, I think I'll start by playing convoy. This guy only has one bump, so I will I might get one heat bump unless he just buys it. It would be a good play for him because he just strand me with uh Man, he's at 24. This one's going to be a close one. I that livestock uh or the uh, fish passing fish was a was a bad misplay. I think I I really did not play that well. And he funds banker. And steals two steel from me. <laughs> okay. Um the thing is, am I going to He's got 9, 13, 14, and I've got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But he did leave me open to get these two heat bumps. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that while I got it. Now I also want to get second on banker. So artificial lake here to pick up two more. This guy's gonna have, he's got nine, 13, 14, and I will have 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm gonna be one shy. Is there any other way I could do it? Man, that miner is just it just cost me three points for nothing. It's just really annoying. I do have EOS, which could get me ahead of Eco Line for second on banker. And it will give me another plant. So that's good. And I can I can play Lake over here. I'm gonna I'm probably gonna go Lake Convoy next and just soak up as many of these terraforming points as I can. Um, hmm. I think it's going to be to my best interest just to slow play this, although. Oh shoot, <laughs> that's gross. <laughs> um, man, that's a good play for him. Four pointer. That's really good. Yeah, he played that well. All right, well now I'm definitely, I'm incentivized just to slow play here. See what everybody does. Dang, I never got another animal tag. Don't think I'm playing capital. I mean, it is a three pointer though. I think I'm just going to play research. Let's play research. Uh, 
Okay, we did get an animal tag, pets. Not the best one, but it's still one. Let's go ahead and cycle Martian rails. Search for life. Tardigrades. Man, that Ecoline funding miner is going to cost me this game. I, I, I just have that feeling because I... What a weird thing for the Ecoline, for the computer to fund. It's like so stupid. Created this like weird mini game that I'm just like poorly poised to win. What I want to do is just wait out this guy and make him decide what he's going to do. And then I can decide whether or not I have a chance with Miner, which I don't. I don't think I do. Not sure what that accomplishes, but at least he's not bumping his economy because I want to. I need to make sure I get second there. This guy's got a pretty big edge on me on points at this point. Ten cash back. Don't want to do that action yet. I'm just going to sell uh, this guy. Man, that Lake Marineris was brutal. Well played by the Saturn Systems player. Um, that was brutal. Also an odd play from Ecoline. If he's got another Jovian multiplier, I just basically am completely out. Um, kelp farming. I don't think he's got another multiplier. I'm gonna sell physics complex. I mean, it honestly might be worth it to me just to concede the miner and just spend all these all these things, but I don't want to show him that I'm doing that until I'm ready, because I want to if he, you know I want to strand these things in his hand. That might give me the edge to squeeze out some more points. He's got a big edge on points now, but I'm gonna I'm gonna catch some of it up. Um, Pets is a point, that's three points, this is four points, seven, eight, Eos is another point and a plant, nine, 10, 11, so I'm gonna catch up 11 points. And then if I give up a minor, it means that I can, if I give up a minor, it means that I can, I can just sell This one's going to be close. <clears throat> All right, so 8, 9, 10, 11. That's true. Then he's got 8. He's got 13 now, 8, 13, and I'm at 11. So I actually could catch it. 
Um, I'm gonna sell these tardy grades. Let me make sure that Pets does it for me. I'm gonna be super pissed if I, <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> it's an animal that I need. All right, well, I'm gonna have, I think I'll have perfect information. I think this guy's basically out. He's gotta make the decision now. I guess he could just sell a card at a time. I think my first play is gonna be Pets. Because I'm doing that almost no matter what. Because this is a four, 17 credits for four points is pretty good. And then I can just take it from there. And I think I'm likely just to give up on minor. I guess if I play Capital, I can abandon Eos. But I do want to play that plant, that last plant up there. I mean, the thing is, I'm going to spend this Titanium, and I'm just going to concede the Miner because... I'm gonna get four points there. Like this, you know, in the end, the miner may not hurt me that bad because he's gonna get five points here on miner, and I'm gonna get four off of this colony ship, and it'll be kind of about the same. And then it lets me play everything else in my hand and sell that steel for five. Well, that's what I was talking about. Like, I can, but if I have to, in order to be second, I have to leave 10 things, which means that I'd have to leave, I can only spend one more. It's, I don't think it's worth it because spending this five titanium by itself is worth four points for me with colony ship. So I think, I think I'm better just spending the money, but I want to, I want the credit corp, I want the Saturn Systems player to pass first so that he can't see me spending that. Those, those things because um, I don't want him to be able to play another card for um, I don't want him to be able to play these things so I'm just not gonna like if he if he played some of these resources then I can just go to win minor so I'll just let him make them make the move and I'll just meet out my plays here Man, I, I really punted on this game with uh, Fish. I just I should not have passed that card. I got maximally punished for it, but uh, uh, that's fine. Like whatever. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and play Pets. Oh, I get another pet on there. So, let's see. Oh, and I'll get another one. Oh no, I'll just get the one. I, I think the thing is, I can only get... I guess this mean, it would allow me to not play that. I'm gonna put the pet on there. If I end up one short, I'm gonna be super annoyed. Yes, it does. I'm pumped about that. So ecosystems and then kelp farming will also get me a plant. Okay, so he passed, so I'm good. All right, so I'm going to just concede minor. And I'm just going to go ahead and just use all my resources then. So let's see how much I can catch up here. I'm going to play colony ship. That gets me to 21. What was this guy at here? He was at 30. All right, I'm gonna play Ecosystems for sure.
I'm gonna play Let's see here. So this one cost me 20 and I get six back. So this seems good. And I get a pet. Let's go ahead and play this one. And then let's see here. I think I like. So how many? How many? Uh, I've got three on pets right now. So if I play Eos, I'll get my fourth pet. I get four plants off of that. Whereas if I play kelp farming, I get six plants, but I lose. But I don't get um, let's see here. If I play kelp farming, if I play Eos, if I play kelp farming, I get six plants. Which would put me at twelve. That's that's too shy. That's not enough. Whereas if I play Eos, I can get four cash back this turn. It doesn't give me. I don't think it gets me anything. So I'm just gonna play Eos. This also will allow me to play the plant this turn, which gets me four cash back, which might ultimately get me to magnetic field. So let's play this. This is better. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and play this, and uh, I'm, yeah, let's see, I could put it here, but I basically just abandoned that. There's no way I'm gonna to get to, so I'll take this plant instead. That puts me at 12. Unfortunately, I'm one shy of kelp farming, which would have gotten me another plant. I know, it's too bad though. Dang, because actually getting one more plant would have been an additional two, three points. That would have been a big play. I did catch up though a lot. Look, I'm at 29 VP. I think I got this game. He's at 30, and I've got more board presence. I have a milestone. I am down an award. How did Landlord, Landlord end up? 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh, I tied on Landlord? I think I'm winning then. And then Banker, I got second. Yeah. I think I got this one. I'm just going to keep staring at this screen until I can get a little more cash out of this. All right, let's go ahead and sell these guys. And I'll play the lake. I think I should have this one. He's got 30 VP. I've got 30 VP. We're at parity here. I'm plus five on milestones and I have a better board presence. That was a fun game. That last turn was, uh, was really good. Had a lot of points in hand there at the end. That was sweet. I guess System's going to get to play one more plant. So he's going to get one more. It's only one pointer, though, because he doesn't have a city to place it. So he will get one more tile. Oh, wait. Did this guy have a tile? Oh, dang. I, so I'm second on Landlord. Oh, no. I got it. Yeah, I've I'm, I'm got it on Landlord. All right. Well, let's see how it goes here. So if I have the edge here after cities, I think I got it. Yeah. 
Nice. Seven pointer. That was good. That was a fun game. That last uh, that last turn was really fun. We just had a ton of stuff to do. Um, cool. Uh, well, I think that's what I got for tonight. Uh, thanks for watching. Anybody have any uh, final final comments uh, before we we shut it off? Filter, you're right, man. Capital was great. That was uh, it was it was three three points, and it got me my my last pet. So it was basically worth four points. It's unfortunate that I came up one sh one cash short of getting an additional three points, uh, but um, but that was good. So yeah, I ended up with seven on awards, which is you know kind of mitigated the damage there, and then those milestones really helped. But um, perfect. Okay, well thanks everyone for watching. Um, check out our other videos on our YouTube channel and you can watch a stream occasionally if, uh, if you're lucky because <laughs> we, <laughs> we're so inconsistent with when we do it. But um, I will probably be around streaming uh, some other time this week. I'm gonna go play, tomorrow I got a, a big Twilight Imperium day with some of my buddies so um, probably not gonna be streaming tomorrow. I know Q would have, yeah, Q would have probably had another 15 points. So we can only aspire. Um, but uh, cool. All right. Well, thanks. I will catch you guys on the next one.